Mira, si sí, miras, ahí están abollándole gallitos, güey. Mira, 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 todos los gallos, mira. Vámonos, juca. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, yes. Se me hace, mira, si sí, miras todos los que se miran ahí, güey. So hopefully they have some dorados out there. Martin got another rooster now. Today's a surf fishing day, the sun just came out. There it is, I saw them a few times right on the wake. There it is, a nice rooster fish. And uh, I knew they were gonna go for it. I was just trying and trying. Let me try to, hold on, I'm gonna release it. Hoy estamos aquí en un lugar muy conocido para la gente local de Cabo San Lucas, La Paz. Se llama La Palizada. Estamos un poquito al norte del poblado de Todos Santos. Estos lugares tienen que ser muy buenos eh, en algunas temporadas para El Dorado. Hemos tenido éxito antes, así que ahorita vamos a intentar. Llegamos temprano, estamos haciendo unos, unos uh, soft bait y unos stick shots para, para empezar. Está el agua calientita. Ahorita esperemos que clareando veamos la carnada y a ver si se arriman los dorados. Seguimos utilizando nuestras cañas de 13 pies con línea trenzada de 40. Vamos a usar lures de superficie para un casteo de distancia. Eh, te, vamos a, tenemos nuestro spin reel que son los, los famosos Estela y diferentes tipos de marcas de lures de superficie. Mucha gente llega también en vehículos pequeños. Eh, es recomendable digo, tener una, una camioneta, pero yo he visto gente que viene en vehículos pequeños desde La Paz. Eh, es un camino de tierra, es terracería, en algunas partes muy blandita, pero hay mucha accesibilidad, nada más tener cuidado en tiempo de lluvias porque tiende a ser muy lodoso en algunas partes, pero en esta temporada de noviembre, diciembre, pues está totalmente el clima. Muy padre que venía abrigados, hace frío. Yeah, come here, come here. ¿Qué es, güey? Gonna change your lure. Un gallito, güey. <laughs> Today's a surf fishing day. The sun just came out. There it is, a nice rooster fish. We're gonna try. We're, we're trying to catch uh, dorados today. Uh, we have a really good reports of this area where people have been catching dorados off the beach. So that's what we're targeting right now. So far, we already caught a rooster fish today. So we started off the day pretty good. We got here not too long ago and we already got a strike. So hopefully I can get a Dorado. Ya, ya no voy a creer nada lo que me llama Martín de Tibe. <laughs> Esto ahorita. Bueno, lanzamos nuestro lur de superficie. Vamos un torito pequeñito, vamos a liberarlo. Tenemos estos, pero los, los abuelos. Ernesto, Ernesto caught the second rooster fish. And uh, we're using some uh, metal jigs. These metal jigs, we cast as far as we can and then let it sink, like, sink for about five seconds. And then you start reeling in sideways, like way we I, I'm doing right now, so that it can be moving like a little fish, trying to get away. And that's how he landed two uh, rooster fish, and Martin actually caught a nice uh, small jackravel. So so far that's what we're doing, and this is what we're using. This is what we're using a metal jig that it's about seven ounces. He flies really far. And uh, we're using a 13-foot uh, rod. I like this one. This one's made by Jensen. Uh, and it's really, really light. Super light and skinny. And it actually helps you so that you won't get tired as, uh, as fast. And what I'm using right now, we, we have a couple of Stella's 14,000. And I have a Twin Power as well. Nothing but Shimano. Well been into it for about 15 minutes since sunrise and uh, just lost a nice Dorado a few minutes ago and uh, yeah a few of the other guys have caught uh, some roosters some little ones which is kind of nice catching something so uh, I have big hopes for uh, another Dorado maybe a few
We'll see what uh, the morning brings us. I love Cabo. You can't, uh, really, really hard to beat. I fl fished for a month out of Belize and Florida, Louisiana for reds. But I'll tell you what, Cabo, from the other day, you know, in, in less than five hours of trolling, we had 45 marlin on the line. Uh, today we're beach fishing on the surf for uh, Dorado. You, you just can't beat Los Cabos. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. The people are friendly and the fish bite, so. It's, uh, this place has got it beat and that's why I always keep coming back. La idea es simular sardinitas, algo que esté comiendo, por ejemplo, ahorita empieza la temporada de sierras y tratamos, ¿no? Buscamos ese tipo de, de, de pesca. Afortunadamente en la mañana utilizamos esos jigs y salieron unos este, gallitos pequeños, pero bueno, divertidos. Y ya más tarde, cuando empieza a salir el sol, utilizamos algo superficial. Algo que tengamos alcance, algo este, que haga movimiento y que haga mucho splash en la parte de arriba del agua. Esa es la idea principal para, para esta temporada, que a eso venimos ahorita, a intentar este, capturar, si tenemos suerte, algún dorado o algo, alguna especie de esto. Pues ya lo único que falta en agarrar uno es el... Ah, no, ya agarró uno, no, no, es que se le fue. Ya agarré un pinche y un caballito. Suave. Ah, una sierra. sierra. Muy buena sierra, mira. Vámonos, Spanish macro. Holy macro. Es todo. ¿Cuántos puntos La puedes esa? liberar si quieres. Está chica y está sana todavía. Le echamos el agua entonces. Si quieres, libérala. Okay. Agárrale la colita y la pancita. Uy, fuerte. Uy, me quiere morder. Fuerte, fuerte. Espérate, pues te voy a dejar ir. Ahí está. We're gonna let it go because it's too small. It's too small and isn't it pretty good? <laughs> Spanish yeah. macro. Yeah. Suave en el agua. Woohoo! Muérdelo, muérdelo. Bien, pues bueno, Vamos a ya, todos. ya salió sierra, gallo, toro, gallos, perdió un, un toro, una sierra y... perdió un dorado. Ay, Vamos a ver si sigue el invitado, todavía está en el mar. No, it looks like the head was thicker. Yes, I saw it. I saw when it came out and it was a thicker on head. Algo yes, chistoso. and it looked kind of greenish with a nice gray uh, butt. Sometimes we lose many lures. I don't know why, because they... They forget open the bell. And we put our favorite lure, and just we have one. It's fall. I, I just casted that uh, iron, that pink iron, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sink about uh, 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna start reeling in. I want it to hit the bottom, and then I'm gonna start coming up from the bottom, bottom up. That's how I caught the Spanish macro a little bit ago. Algo muy importante que nunca se debe olvidar cuando vienes a pescar. Es tu papel de baño. <laughs> a ver si llega ahorita la olita. Tenemos que agarrarlo con la ola ahorita que se levantó la ola. Mira, si mira, ahí está enabollándole el gallito, güey. There's something chasing my lure. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna hook up. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Se me hace ir así, mira todos los que se miran ahí, güey. Sí, güey. Se me hace que sí. Es un gallito, es un gallito. Se mira bien perrón en el agua. Oh, they're right there, look. Lo agarró. Hook up. Si lo agarraste, ¿verdad? Sí. There it is. I saw them a few times right on the wake, and uh, and uh, I knew they were gonna go for it. I was just trying and trying. Let me try to hold on. I'm gonna release you. 
So hopefully they have some Dorados out there. Martin got another rooster now. Oh, ho, ho, Rodney got one too. We moved from where we were a little bit earlier because we kept catching uh, sierras and roosters and it was fun, but we, we, we are mainly targeting uh, Dorados. So we move a little bit north, like about uh, two miles or five kilometers. And as soon as we got here, we started getting some action. And uh, it's more roosters, which is fun. I love doing it. I get all excited when I see them chasing my, my lures. And right now we just caught a, a, quite a few roos, a rooster fish. Cuatro, yeah? We caught four rooster fish as soon as we got here. So we see a, a couple of frigates right now getting close to us. Hopefully it'll start getting really, we, we will start getting a lot of action and we can get a, a Dorado. It'll be really awesome if we can get a Dorado. My first, look, my first rooster from the beach, it's pretty cool. Well, he had to work it when he started chasing it and he chased it for about 15 feet and then hooked up and uh, it was cool. I gotta do it again. I gotta get back out there. Mira, 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 mira todos los gallos, mira. Mira, ¿sabes qué? Yo creo que les voy a tirar una sin anzuelo. Para ver si los gras en la ola. Mira, viene atrás. Como te dije, hacia atrás, hacia atrás, camina hacia atrás. Ahí está. There it is. Another beautiful rooster fish. Mira todos en la ola, wey. Mira, casteo cortito, ahí están. Se mira bien bonito en la ola todos los gallos, ¿verdad? So if we fish, yeah. So if we fish on a day where there's hardly any, there's a panga, look. Where there's hardly any wind at all, it's a good thing because we get calm seas like the way it is right now okay. okay we're wrapping up the day today at the beach we're gonna stop into los santos to get a coffee real quick coffee and then <laughs> and with a tequila shot <laughs> and then we're gonna head home but today was actually pretty good you know martin yeah how about mexican breakfast salud <laughs> <laughs> we had a great great morning here at todos santos we unfortunately we don't catch a big dorado we're looking for but we got some several little rooster fish some hits it's some action so we had quite a bit of action yeah for the Every beach day a good day. Day. today was a really good day yeah fun. it was a lot of action wasn't it yes it was excellent excellent action martin is the man excellent equipment gracias thank you so much very good equipment sorry about the company hey but hey. what about the sandwich <laughs> sorry about <laughs> <laughs> the sandwich <laughs> That's okay, we have to bring in the sandwich, was good. <laughs> okay, today, nada, nada, enchilada was not the word. We got something, I hope maybe tomorrow another one. Salud. I told you many recommendations after fishing that many times we don't catch anything for eat. Uh, we mostly time catch and release, but all time we're looking for Mexican protein. It's zero calories. In Mexico, it's no calories, zero calories. And look at this pork. I love it. So look at this. Delicious and nutritious. If you guys really like this content, make sure you guys subscribe or comment below on, on uh, what you guys would like to see. Uh, we do all type of uh, fishing out here in the ocean from either from the beach or on the boats. And let us know if you would like to learn some kind of techniques or what kind of lures we use, what water temperatures, any kind of questions you guys have, just comment below and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe so that you can get to see each of our videos and hit the little bell button as well so that you can get alerts when we post a new video. We're gonna try to be 
uh, uploading a video almost every single week. And we're more than happy to share with you guys all our, our techniques.